Thank you, King, in authority. In the name of Jesus. You are the, the living, living God.
you I go from beginning to the end. There's no place for arguments. You are God all by yourself. You are God. The healer of our bodies, the restorer of the wasted places. Father, we want to thank you this hour. We give you all the praise. We ask that you will speak to us. That no word that we will hear will fall to the ground. But every word that we will hear, Father, you shall hasten to perform. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we have worship. Church, can we put our hands together for Jesus? Can we celebrate the choir? Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Can you celebrate yourself? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to thank God for this Bible studies. But I want your heart to be said because every word you hear from the word of God, God is able to bring it to pass. Even while you're here, hearing it. He said, while we are yet speaking, he does what he answers. Praise the name of the Lord. And I want to thank God for fighting the faith. And I want to thank everyone that made it to this Bible studies. My prayer is that God that you have come to seek, you will find him in the name of Jesus Christ. So very quickly, we're going to be doing a topic, the spirit of restoration. Amen. If you don't mind, can you say with me, the spirit of restoration. Whatever the enemy has stolen. God will restore in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the name of the Lord. So I would love you to follow us closely and patiently. Because I believe everyone that will hear the sound of my voice, God will speak to them in the name of Jesus Christ. So our key text is taken from 1 Samuel chapter 30, verse 8. Praise the name of the Lord. 1 Samuel chapter 30, verse 8. We're going to pick some verses of this chapter and we're going to trust God to give us utterance and understanding in the name of Jesus Christ. For Samuel chapter 30 verse 8, and David inquired at the Lord saying, shall I pursue after this troop? Shall I overtake them? And he answered him, God will give somebody an answer in the name of Jesus Christ. And he answered him, pursue. For thou shalt surely, not somehow, not maybe, but thou shalt surely overtake them. And without fail, recover not some, we will recover all in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you and I pray for me in this Bible studies, the grace 
to overtake and to recover all. Let it rest upon you and your household in the name of Jesus Christ. If you look at the verse we have just read, we were able to get out four things. Four things. When the spirit of restoration is in operation, four things are very what, important. Praise the name of the Lord. The first thing we got that he inquired, he went to God and sought the face of God and said, God, this thing that I have lost, this profit I don't have again, this marriage that is happening, my joy that is gone, God, how can I get it back? He inquired at the Lord. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. So I don't want us to have that mindset that, yes, God has promised to restore. We need to do something, then he will restore. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. He inquired. And when he inquired, from the same verse, God told him that for you to be able to do what recover, there's a, a need for what? To pursue. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. That thing that you're not resilient about, that thing that you're not holding on to and say, God, I must get an answer. Amen. You will not get that answer. Praise the name of the Lord. He said, pursue. So if he sat back and said, oh, they have taken, they have born Ziegler. They have taken my wives. And God, I am praying. Yes, yes, you are praying. But God is saying, action your words. Pursue. Amen. And I see as we pursue, we will not only overtake, we will recover all in the name of Jesus Christ. He said, pursue. Then the third thing here is overtake. I love overtake in praise the name of the Lord. Because you know the good thing about recovery is that maybe paraventure you're living in just one uh, apartment, rented apartment. When the spirit of restoration comes, amen, you not only have um, story buildings, amen, two places, amen. You have the one you live, you have the one that you rent. Praise the name of the Lord. And paraventure somebody was looking down at you and say, ah, see this one, no. Maybe we even finished school together. Or maybe you, 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 you even married before me. Or a, anything. And the person looking down at you. By the time God restore your blessings. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. What happened? You will overtake. The grace to overtake. Rest upon somebody in this service. The grace to overtake. Rest upon somebody in this service. In the name of Jesus Christ. That's why we and I need to ignite the spirit of what? Restoration. You might be here, you don't know that your father or your mother or your uncle, somebody has kept something for you, but unknown to you. But I pray for you and I pray for me, that whatever that have been kept for us that have been hiding that is good, by the reason of this service, it shall be unveiled. It shall be unveiled. Your testimony will get into your hands in the name of Jesus Christ. Some time ago in a Wednesday meeting, family breakthrough, somebody were praying and the word came, he said, Nobody will take your bed to right. Praise the name of the Lord. That's restoration. Amen. So this sister, she sister and her father did not have a good relationship. But after that service, there was a reconciliation. See the way God did it. The man changed his will and put her word in his will. It was not up to how many years later the man died. Something she never felt would come to her. Amen. Her portion was given to her. I prophesy to somebody today. By the spirit of restoration. Whatever that belongs to you. Belongs to your father. Belongs to your family. That is in the hands of any man. By the spirit of restoration. It will enter your hand. In the name of Jesus Christ. There are things that belong to your family. Maybe your spouse, your child. Somebody has been sitting on it. But when the spirit of restoration comes, the person will be at unease. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. And I see that spirit of restoration, that spirit of overtaking, resting upon our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. So what is the third, the fourth thing that happened in that same verse? The Bible says, he recovered not some. Amen. He recovered what? Oh. Amen. In this spirit of restoration, your joy can be recovered. There are Christians, they don't have joy in their lives. Your joy can be recovered. Your health can be recovered. Lands can be recovered. We see a lot of things as we proceed that is scripturally back that can be recovered. There's nothing. Even life can be restored. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So verse 18 of this same chapter said 
And David recovered all because God's word never falls to the ground. Amen. It must accomplish what that which had been what sent for. And David recovered all that the Amalekite had carried away. And David rescued what his two wives. You and your family, I and my family, will recover whatever that has been lost. The things that have been lost that you're not aware, God will recover in the name of Jesus Christ. I want us to know what the meaning of restoration is before we proceed. Amen. Restoration, I just looked it up. I think somebody wrote this. Amen. He said, restoration is the act of repairing, rehabilitation, rebuilding, reconstruction, and redecoration of something to a good condition or what? Operation. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. He said, restoration is also an act of returning something or someone to a satisfactory state. You and I shall be satisfied in life in the name of Jesus Christ. So what is restore? I said, let me find out what is restore before we go to restoration. Amen. Restore means to return to its original or usable and functional what condition. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. You can see a man or you see a woman just walking, trekking. But that person is in the original state, supposed to own what companies, empires. So when the spirit of restoration comes, the things that have been pulling you not to advance shall be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the name of the Lord. Let's look very quickly to, at J Joel chapter 2. Joel chapter 2, amen. The book of Joel chapter 2, amen. Joel 2 verse 25 to 27. The word of God declares... He said, and I, God is the one speaking here. He said, and I will restore to you. If you don't mind, you can put your name. God said, he will restore to me, Esther. The years that the locust has eaten. The canker worm. And the caterpillar. And the palmer worm. My great army, which I sent towards among you. I want us to break it down. You say, okay, I'm not a, I'm not a, a crop, so where would the canker woman and the locusts? Where would they see me to eat me up? Praise the name of the Lord. Some of us have invested a lot in the lives of people, and those same people, they have turned back to do what? To wish you evil or to even say things about you. But God is saying, for that effort, for that harvest, for that thing that you have done, he will do what? He will restore. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. So God is saying to us, for whatever wasted efforts, he will do what? He will restore. Those years, those years, those years. That's why when I find the Lord will say, you don't look like what you've been through because of what? The spirit of what? Restoration. Amen. Because when restoration comes, all those years that we have toyed without anything to show for it, we will not remember them anymore in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the name of the Lord. So the next verse went further to say, he said, and ye shall eat in plenty and be what? Satisfied. So anytime there is no satisfaction in your life, you need to call God for what? The spirit of what? Restoration. Because it comes with what? Satisfaction. He said you will do what? You will eat in what? In plenty and be what? Satisfied. When God has done what? Restore to what? To you and your family. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And what happened? And praise the name of the Lord your God that has dealt what wondrously with you and my people shall never be what ashamed when you encounter or i encounter the spirit of restoration shame is taken from my life shame is taken from your life praise the name of the lord god is saying whatever thing that has brought us shame by the spirit of restoration that shame will be wiped away in the name of jesus christ how am I sure? It's very biblical. It's very scriptural. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. In Isaiah 61 verse 7, he said, "For your, I will give you double for your shame. That's just restoration. Praise the name of the Lord. He said, for our shame, you'll give us what? Double. That's what God is saying. I know the good thing about when the spirit of restoration begins to work in your life, in your family. You know, if somebody was owing you a hundred dollars 
maybe 10 years ago, and the person pays you now. Amen. The exchange rate is not the same. You agree with me? Then what happens that when they are owing you whatever that had, that had been stolen from your life, from your family, when God restores, it will not come in the original form. It comes better. There's an addition to it. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody receive that addition. Somebody receive that addition in the name of Jesus Christ. He said, for your shame, ye shall have what? Double. So that thing that is making you feel bad, you don't feel good in your life, in your family, just say, Father, I know that my double is coming. For all these things that I've gone through, amen, double is coming. I've shared with us, why great at some point, I need to pray to wear a cologne. I like good cologne. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. I don't like people when, or I don't people, I don't like when you enter a place. Even when you enter a place, somebody wants to pee you. You want to, you want to vomit because of the, the smell they carry. So I said, God, I need you to help me to do what? I, need, I believe God to have what? That's cologne. I, need, I believe God to have perfume. But you know what God did? When the spirit of restoration began to work in my life, I don't like it. I don't need to buy it. Praise the name of the Lord. God will just be touching several people. Amen. Before this one is half, two has come to replace it. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So sometimes, you know how God works? Works. Somebody might be going somewhere else. They're not visiting us. Praise the name of the Lord. But because the spirit of restoration is working, they'll say, let me just pass by Bishop Uzosike's house. As they pass by, they'll just bring one carton and say, Madam, this is for you. I say, Father, thank you. Praise the name of the Lord. So God is saying, in that area that you've been having shame, amen, you'll be having what? Double. The word of God can never be broken. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Paraventure, you're here today. Say, okay, I can barely count how many clothes I have. Get ready. You will have more than clothes enough. Amen. Amen. You will not even have room to keep them. Praise the Lord. As you give out, more will be coming in the name of Jesus Christ. That's what the spirit of restoration can do. It can restore spiritual things and what? Physical things. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. That same place that you went to enter, they say, Madam, please, it's not, you cannot enter. Or, God, you can't enter here. That same place, before your car entered there, they will open the gate for you in the name of Jesus Christ. We need to call for that word, spirit of what restoration. There are people that cannot take your call because they feel you are not, you're not, you're not up to the people, whatever it be their, their standard or parameters. But when the spirit of restoration comes, they will book appointment to see you in the name of Jesus Christ. That's what God can do. We serve a God. In this house, he said, in the highway of the spirit, there is what? Free overtaking. So if you cannot remember anything, you're so weak. Say, God, let the grace of this commission begin to do what speak in my life. Praise the name of the Lord. It's the truth. Looking at the children of Jacob, every one of them have peculiar blessings because they have what? A, what? A unique destiny. So every commission you are connected to, they have what? A unique blessing attached to them. Don't just be a bench from I just come to church and sit down. Sometimes say, Father, whatever be the grace that is blessed. Father, let it reach me. Praise God. God, help us in the name of Jesus Christ. So he said, for our shame, you will give us what? Double. A man got double in the scripture. The man is in Job 42, verse 10. Praise God. Job 42 verse 10 says, And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. Also the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. Then came there unto him all his brethren. You seen all his brethren and all his sisters and all they that had been of his acquaintance before. And did eat bread with him in his house. And they bemewed him and comforted him over all the evil that the Lord has brought unto him. And every man also gave him a piece of money and every one an earring of what gold. We're going to stop at verse 12. See what happened to Job. So the Lord blessed the later end of Job 
more than in his beginning. Then he begins to outline everything. He goes, I want you to just rise up in one minute. Tell God, Father, my later end yeah, must be more than my what? Beginning. Are you ready? Just tell God, say, Father, my later end, the later end of my life, the later end of my family, it shall be what? Greater and better than what? My beginning. When somebody say, my tomorrow will be better than my today, that's where they got that concept from. Somebody say, my later end, our later end as a commission shall be better than what? Our beginning. Our later end, what as what? As a church shall be better. As a family shall be better. Father, we thank you, O oh God, by the spirit of restoration, our better end, our later end shall be better than our beginning. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. If you believe it, can you say amen? amen. Praise the Lord. Let's have a seat. Amen. So if God can make that happen for Job, you and I are more qualified than Job because in the times of Job, grace was scarce. But in our time and our dispensation, Grace has been released unto us. Praise the name of the Lord. So what are the things that can be restored in our lives? What are the things that can be restored in our lives? Somebody say, ah, this is restoration. Amen. The first one that can be restored is, he restored what? My soul. Our soul can be restored. Psalm 23 verse 3. He restored what? My soul. Our soul can be what? Restored. Or Psalm, amen. Psalm, what? 23, verse 2. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. He restored what I saw. Maybe you're emotionally bruised. Something has happened. And you don't feel like living again. Something is not going right. But God's saying to you that today that your soul shall be restored in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. He said, he restored my soul. He leaded me in the path of what? Righteousness for what? His name's sake. So our soul is restored, not because of our sake, but for his name, what? His name's sake. Praise the name of the Lord. And I see anyone emotionally bruised in this house, that God is restoring your soul in the name of Jesus Christ. So what other things can God restore? God can restore our marriages. Our marriages can be what? Restored. Genesis 20 verse 7. Genesis 20, verse 7. Our marriages can be what? Restored. Praise the Lord. He says, Now therefore, restore this man his wife, for he is a prophet, and he shall pray for thee. And and thou shalt live, and if thou restore her not, know that, know thou that thou shalt surely die, thou and all that are thine. Hey, I like God, though. I love God. Amen. Tonight, whoever that is holding one belongs to you. If they don't restore it, ha, they will encounter the wrath of God in the name of Jesus Christ. He said, if you don't restore, he gave an ultimatum. He said, if you don't restore, not only you, you and your household. Praise the name of the Lord. Therefore, Abimelech rose early. See, somebody wake up tomorrow morning early for your sake. Whatever that belongs to you shall be released unto you, unto you in the name of Jesus Christ. If somebody believe it, can you say a better amen? He said, Abimelech rose early in the morning and called his servants and told them all these things in their ears. And the men were so afraid. Then Abimelech called Abraham and said unto him, What hast thou done unto us? And what have I offended thee, that thou hast brought on, on me and my kingdom a great sin? Thou hast done deeds unto me that ought not to be. And Abimelech said unto Abraham, What saw I thou that thou hast done this? And Abraham said, because I thought surely the fear of God is not in this place. And they will slay me for my wife's sake. And yet indeed she is my sister. She is the daughter of my father, but not the daughter of my mother. 
and she became what? My wife. Praise the name of the Lord. To cut this long story short, Abimelech restored back to Abraham. Not only his wife, oh, with offering. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let me tell you how the spirit of restoration works. The first time we got married, ah, one lady saw me, said, I have some things for you. I have something for you. You know, ignorance is not good. Though. Praise the name of the Lord. My husband said, call the woman. She said she has something for you. So I called the woman. The woman like, okay, I'm busy. I just told God, I'm, in the first place, I did not ask for whatever the woman wants to give to me. Praise the name of the Lord. So let it go. Amen. But I just went to God. I was just appreciating God for everything. And the Lord spoke to me. I heard him very well. He said, for her to even do like that, she will give you two. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes, I heard God. The woman called me after some weeks and said, please, I'm sorry. Actually, I'm supposed to give you one, but for your time wasted, you're going to take two. I will bring several to you. You take what you do, what choose and take what the one you like. You need to know who you are in God. Praise the name of the Lord. The problem is that most times we don't know who we are. Once you know who you are, and say, Father Lord, whatever thing that has my name on it, another man cannot take it. Yes, they might they may try you, but they cannot take it. Praise the name of the Lord. Because it takes your consent and theirs for them to take what belongs to you. Say, God, they cannot take it. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So we need to often tell God about what? The spirit of what? Restoration. Everything I've lost. Sometimes we can lose it by carelessness. Sometimes we can lose it by what? Ignorance. Say, God, whatever I've lost. Amen. God, you are able to do what? Restore. If God can restore the dignity of man after man fell, he brought back Jesus and said, no, that authority that enemy deprived you of, I crown you again. And he said, all power in heaven and on earth has been given unto me. And he said, I have given you power. If God can restore power to us, I have given you power to do what? To tread down serpents and what? Scorpions. And over every word, power of the enemy. God came back and restore our dignity. God came back and restore what? Our what? Divine what? Dominion. Praise the name of the Lord. There's nothing God cannot do for us. Amen. When he spoke in Romans, he said, who can lay a charge against what God selects? He said, who can lay a charge? Who can? Praise the name of the Lord. It's God that justifies it. Praise the name of the Lord. So let's proceed. So God can restore what our marriage is. What happened? Abraham, the wife was not touched. So if you're here, you're afraid. Tell God, my family... God, you're the one in charge. Praise the name of the Lord. If God has done it before, God can still do it what? Again and again. Praise the name of the Lord. So what are the things that can be, you can be restored unto your place, your position on your job, your position in your home, your position in your family can be what? Restored what? Back to you. There are people that are firstborn, but they don't give them that firstborn rights. Praise the name of the Lord. God can do what? Restore. Some people, their wives or their husband, their husband or their wives don't give them that position. Your position can be what? Restore. Praise the name of the Lord. We see that in Genesis 40, verse 13 and 21. Genesis chapter 40. Amen. Praise God. He said, yet within three days shall Pharaoh lift up thy what? Thy Head, praise the name of the Lord, and restore thee unto thy place. Somebody's place is about to be restored to the person in the name of Jesus Christ. And thou shalt receive what Pharaoh's cup into thy what thy hand after the former manner when thou was with when, when thou was what his buckler. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So God, there's nothing God cannot what cannot restore. Amen. He can restore. Let me look at verse 21 of that same verse. Amen. 21 said, And he restored the chief buckler unto his buckler sheep. Again, and he gave him the cup into what? Pharaoh's and God can restore us. Amen. We have a brother in church here that testified. People gang up against him in his company. After all that they did, God brought him, promoted him, and kept him what? Back his position. Praise the name of the Lord. Give him a better word position. And by that, he even had better understanding. Praise the name of the Lord. There's nothing our God cannot restore. So that's why you and I need what? The spirit of what? Restoration. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 
God can restore the joy of our salvation. Psalm 51 verse 12. The joy of our salvation. People are born again, but they're not happy with a lot of things that are happening around them. But God can restore. He said, and he restored. No, that's not what it is. Psalm 51 verse 12. Praise the Lord. God can restore. Amen. The joy of our salvation. Amen. Praise God. Psalm 51 verse 12 says, Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and uphold not, hope not me what with thy free spirit. Praise the name of the Lord. God can restore what the joy of his salvation. Because it's not of God that you and I, we are children of God, and we are not happy. God wants us to be happy all the time. Praise the name of the Lord. So God can restore. But eventually something has happened that have affected your joy. Receive the spirit of restoration that your joy is being restored in the name of Jesus Christ. God can restore what the joy of what our salvation. God can restore our health. Our health can be restored. Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 17. Our health can be restored. Praise the name of the Lord. No matter the sickness, if you believe God by faith, there is nothing Jehovah God cannot do. Amen. Jeremiah 30 verse 17 say, I will restore. Praise the name of the Lord. God is able to do it. And his word has never failed, has never lied. Amen. He says, for I will restore health unto thee. Somebody say amen. amen. I will heal thee of thy wounds. Whatever you have been bruised, emotionally bruised, God say you will heal us in the name of Jesus Christ. He says, says the Lord. Because they called you an outcast. You know what an outcast is? You are not inclusive. Praise the name of the Lord. Saying, this is Zion, whom no man seeketh after. God is saying you restore. But eventually you're in business. Your business is going down. You don't have good patronage. When God restore, people will be begging to patronize you. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. But eventually you belong to a family. They look down on you for whatever reason. God is saying they have called you and what? An outcast. But God said, very soon, you become what? That delightsome land. You'll be called Beulah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Your land will be married. People will want to associate with you. They want to identify with you. That's what the spirit of what restoration can do. And I see it happening for all of us in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. God can restore our health. Amen. One day sick, one day well. Let me tell us something. I've come to understand with the work of God. I'm not a medical doctor, so don't try to say, um, what have you, uh, what are the research that you have done to know it? But I know it uh, as a spiritual man. You know, I'm a spiritual man. So I've made a led by the Spirit of God. They are the, word, the sons of God. Amen. If you're always angry at life, you're, not, you're always sad, you are bound to be falling sick all the time. That's the truth. Praise the name of the Lord. If you're everything, you're always angry, you're always sad, you find out that you are messing up your what? Your body system, and you'll be falling sick all the time. Doctor, I think I, I, I'm making sense. Praise the name of the Lord. It's the truth. So when the enemy comes to steal your joy, he's coming using a subtle way to say, as I'm stealing the joy, your sickness, follow me, oh, praise the Lord. So as he steal the joy, before you know, oh, your sickness, one sickness, come, praise the name of the Lord. One has to be very what? Careful. So le learn to do what? Be happy. Amen. Like this morning, morning, we are having a guest. So I went to shop. I told myself, Esther, for being able to shop very well, get a, a wine and make yourself happy. I told my yes, I told my children, bring it. You know, only when visitors come to my house, I'll be serving them. No, I serve myself, cross my leg very well. I drank it and I came to church. Is God not good? We there now. He'll be drinking wine only Christmas time. Wake up, oh. Even if you cannot get wine, even if it's Coke, Zobo, get it and drink it like the king that you are. Praise the name of the Lord. Ah. Even if it's yoga, whatever it is, whatever it is, as long as it's not evil, praise God. You know what? Every time you'll be postponing your happiness. God, God, no, 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 no. See this life. This life is to be what? Enjoyed. Amen. 
Praise the name of the Lord. Don't be that person that every day, we're talking about spirit of restoration. You will walk and walk and walk and walk. You will not be able to eat even smoke from where you God forbid in the name of Jesus Christ. Ah. Praise God. No, it ought not to be like that. Amen. I have a wonderful elder sister. Amen. Let's laugh a little bit. We are in the presence of God. Amen. She does not like Ashebi. I said, sister, I'm doing Ashebi, and I know you don't like Ashebi, so that's why I'm not calling you. She's laughing. Now she has cornered her daughter. I said, she asked me if there's a dress for her. I thought, look, this life is not just to come love God, speak in tongues, and die. Amen. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. If God give you opportunity to be happy, be happy. Huh? And I told some people too straight. Ah, hallelujah. Ah, I will still sing hallelujah. Get the good thing God has. I will make it to heaven. You see me, my car will be plenty. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. When the spirit of restoration, he restores us, give us new ideas to live well. Praise God. Anybody that married my children will enjoy. I will not bother you. I will not come to your kitchen and start counting your meat. You are eating too much. I cannot do that. Because when I had the time to enjoy, I did what? I enjoyed myself. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So let God restore to us. So we'll be happy and begin to bring that happiness to others. It meets happiness anywhere we enter in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Even when they buy a car for my, my, my son, when he grows up, they buy a car for his wife. If I, I say, you can buy a better one. I won't say, how can you be spending this kind of money on this woman? God forbid. Praise the name of the Lord. Mm. Be careful, oh, say, don't go to hell. Lord. I don't want to go to hell. Let's enjoy when God gives us opportunity. Praise Master Jesus. Is somebody getting blessed in this service? So what can God restore to us? God can restore to us lands that we have lost. Lands. Amen. Nehemiah chapter 5, verse 11 to 13. Land. Amen. Praise God. Sometimes some parents have bought land. Some spouse have bought land. They don't even know. You know, maybe there was a tussle or whatever it is. But he found out that at this bit of restoration is ongoing. Somebody will not be able to sleep and say, this land does not belong to me, oh, but I took it. I must release it to them. Praise the name of the Lord. Nehemiah chapter 5, are we there? Verse 11 to 13. God will restore. And when God restores, we cannot be small in the name of Jesus Christ. I see, are you there? Nehemiah chapter 5. He said, restore, I pray you, to them. Even this day, their lands, their vineyards, their olive yards, and their houses, and also the hundredth part of the money, and all the corn, the wine, the oil that ye exact of them. The next verse. Somebody should pray with this scripture because me, I'm going to pray. Any land that belongs to me must come to me in the name of Jesus Christ. See, then said they, we will do what? Restore them. And will re require nothing of them. So we will what? Do as thou hast said. Then I called the priests and took an oath of them. And they should what? Do according to his promise. With some of verse 13. Amen. Praise God. Also I shook what? My lap and said, So God, shake out every man from his house and from his labor. That performeth not this word promise. Even thus be he shaken out and emptied. And all that congregation said, Amen. And praise the Lord. And the Lord did according to what his promise. Have you noticed that any time God says, Give, you don't want to give, there must be a shaking. Something must happen. The other one, he said, If they don't give you, I will judge them. Now he said, as they don't want to give you your life, what they will do what? You shake them out. God will shake something for you. Hey, Mark, tired. When God shakes something for you, wherever they sit on your promotion, the seat will be too hot for them. Amen. Amen. They will say, please, come, come, come. You say, I'm coming tomorrow. Please, please, we are begging you. Come, 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 come. He's waiting for you. Somebody's about to get that testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. That's why you and I need to ask God, Father, Lord, let the spirit of what restoration work in my life. Let it work in my life. Praise the name of the Lord. So what else can God restore to us? God can restore to us the years that have been what? Stolen. We have already read that scripture before in Joel chapter 2. 
verse what, 25. The year that the locusts have stolen. The year that when you look at your life, you feel this life is not worth it. God said, I will restore. Praise the name of the Lord. He said, I will restore unto you the year the locusts have stolen, the palmer worm, the canker worm. God will restore our years. Praise the name of the Lord. And let me tell you the beauty about when God restores your age. As you're getting older, you're looking more younger. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. And I see God doing much more for us in the name of Jesus Christ. We have read there, our money can be restored. You can add the scripture, Genesis 42, verse 25. Money can be restored. They went to buy something, and their money was put back into their back. Your money can be restored. Praise the name of the Lord. When God begins to show you diverse kinds of favor, you might be asking God, God, I believe in God for scholarship for my children. But you know that before you pay the school fees, somebody will remember you and bless you. That is scholarship in this guy. Praise the name of the Lord. So God has been giving us what? Favors. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. As he orders what? He will restore to us. Amen. So as we're about to round up, there are a lot of things I wrote here. Let me see. We talk about God restore our place, our land. Our life can be restored. Look at the book of Ruth, Ruth chapter 4, verse 15. This was the lady that her husband died, her mother-in-law, her father-in-law died, everything died. But when God restored, God even restored and made sure her name was now what? In the genealogy of what? Jesus Christ. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. That same God is your God. Amen. He will restore life to us in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the name of the Lord. Then the last one, and not the least one, is that God can restore our comfort. Amen. God will make us comfortable in the name of Jesus Christ. Isaiah, Isaiah 57 verse 18. God can do what, restore what our comfort life. Amen. Then the next one is God can give us spiritual what? restoration. Where you have been struggling spiritually, you can ask God to restore what? Your spiritual life. That is in Galatians chapter 6, verse 1. Praise the name of the Lord. Our God is able. He's a restorer of the wasted places. Amen. That bridge that you and I need to cross, God can restore. So what, very quickly, we have three instruments for restoration. The first one is prayer slash intercession. If you want restoration to work in your life, don't just sit down and zoom it, ask God in prayer and say, God, you have to restore back my dignity. You have to restore back my economy. You have to restore back everything that can be restored. Ask God. Amen. We see that in Joel chapter 2 verse 35, uh, 25. You see, he said, my great army will I send among you. That's the restoration. My great army. If you look at what he restored, he said, my great army. That's the restoration. Will I do what? Send among you. So you need to intercede. You need to call God. Pray and desire it. And it shall come to pass. Then look at the Job. We read this scripture too. Job 42 verse 10. You see, God restored. He turned the captivity of what Job when he did what he prayed for his friends. And I pray today that you pray for somebody maybe that have offended you because restoration is coming to your house in the name of Jesus Christ. The second instrument for restoration is prophecy. You have to learn to prophesy good things to your life, to your situation, to your business, to your family. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Don't be like the man our Father Lord told us about. That because he could not hit a, a golf ball very well, he began to curse himself. Don't be like that man. Don't curse yourself. Amen. Begin to, no matter how the situation looks, begin to prophesy, you know, against the tides. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. We see that in Ezekiel chapter 37 from verse 1 to 10. I love us to read that Ezekiel. It's a long read. Amen. But we can just read verse 1. And move to verse 10. But I would love to encourage you to read all of it. Praise the name of the Lord. You see, the beginning of the Ezekiel 35, um, 37 says that a particular people were so dry. He said, the hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones. Verse 2 says, and caused me to pass by them round about and behold, there were very many in the open valley, and lo, they were very dry. Verse 3, then we can move to verse 10. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord God, thou knowest. Breaks the name of the Lord. Then he went further to say in verse 10, So I prophesy as he commanded me. And the bread came into them, and they lived, and stood up upon their feet, an exceeding word, great word, amen. 
If you don't know, this scripture is one of the anchor of kingdom life. When you come here, no matter how dry you are, amen, God said you become what? A great army. This is a scripture for kingdom life. Amen. For this commission, Ezekiel 37 comes alive. When you come into the commission and you say, God, this is what, whatever dryness in your life, God will make you to become what? A great army. Praise the name of the Lord. So we need to learn to prophesy. Yes, the, the, that child might not be doing well. Don't say, see your, don't say, see your coconut head. Your head is blessed. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I learned something from somebody. I can't remember the person right now. He said, when your child make them angry, you start to say, see your coconut head. See your beautiful face. Be careful, oh. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes, because the enemy wants us to be angry, to use the same mouth we are blessing to do what? To curse. Amen. So if you believe in this word, it will work for us in the name of Jesus Christ. No matter how dry we are, spiritually, economically, if we can believe it and prophesy. And as you prophesy, God will be telling you what to do. And as you begin to do it, your life and my life cannot be ordinary in the name of Jesus Christ. Then the third instrument for restoration is encounters. Without encounters, there are some things that we have lost that we don't even know that it has been lost. Praise the name of the Lord. And there are people that holy what belong to you. To, is the two waiting that except they encounter God, amen, they will not release it. Praise the name of the Lord, hallelujah. Let's look at Luke Gospel chapter 19, verse 8 to 9. Luke Gospel 19, verse 8 to 9. We are going to pray shortly as we close, amen. Look, it said, and Zacchaeus, you know, he when he encountered God, he used to cheat people a lot. Praise the name of the Lord. Then Zacchaeus stood and said unto the Lord, Behold, Lord, the half of my goods I give to the world, to the poor. And if I have taken anything from any man by false word, accusation, I restore him word fourfold. Not the same way that they took from you. They will give you word fourfold. They say if he's a thief that is caught, that stole from you, he will return word sevenfold. Praise the name of the Lord. So we need what? An encounter. It was an encounter that made him say, okay, because he has amassed so much wealth by his dubious practices, praise the name of the Lord. So when he encountered Jesus, he said, what? Everyone, I will even give to the poor, amen, but everyone that I've taken thing by first word, accusation, I will do what? I will restore. And I see by encounter, whatever men have taken from you, that belongs to you, God will cause them to release it back to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Because whatever I've been taking from us, we we'll appreciate with time in the name of Jesus. So when it comes by, it comes by better and bigger in the name of Jesus Christ. Genesis 20. Amen. Let's look at verse 6 and verse 14. Then we're about to wrap up. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Genesis chapter 20. Amen. Verse 6. Amen. Sorry, I kind of strain to see from far, so I will need to read from here. Amen. 20 verse 6 says, And God said unto him in a dream, Yea, I know that thou did this in the integrity of thy heart, for I had also withheld thee from sinning against me. Therefore, suffer I did not to do or touch her. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So verse 14, what happened in verse 14? And Abimelech took sheep and oxen and male servant and female, and female servant and all and gave them unto Abraham and restored him, Sarah, his word, his wife. Praise the name of the Lord. It, that only happened by words and encounter. So some people need to pray and say, Father, that your uncle that don't want, that took your land, he needs God need to do what? You need to encounter God, amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Because if you want to go and fight him with power and might, somebody might die, amen. But an encounter. Elder Obi Waji gave us a testimony. There's a man that used to be in, his vi in their village. The man terrorized everybody. If you like your land, in your very before, he will collect it. And there's nothing. You'll be telling him, thank you for collecting it. Praise the name of the Lord. So he was, his targets were widows. Anytime somebody's husband dies, he goes and says, what are you doing? You collect their land. But one day, he took a land that belonged to one woman. And this woman understood the God that she was serving. And this woman prayed. And this man has been taking people's land. 
He has even trained his son. So there were terrors in the land. He has even trained his son. So but one day, this woman prayed and said, God, this is the only land we need to farm on. And the man had an encounter. God showed him some things. So he, when he comes to you, you're already afraid. What do you want? Take it, don't hurt me. He said, no. He began to release life testimony. He began to give people back their land. And told his son, I've led you in a wrong way. Please don't follow my path. Praise the name of the Lord. So there are people you need to pray because go, until they encounter God, the thing that belongs to you, that they are keeping, they want to keep it. But once they encounter God, they will on their own volition, they will bring it to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Can we be upstanding? You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for arguments. You are God all by yourself. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for arguments. You are God. All by yourself. You got times and seasons in your hands. You call for light out of darkness. You don't need a man. To be the God you are. You have chosen to call me your own. You are God. You are God. something that belongs to somebody God is saying you should do what? Give it back to that person so whatever that belongs to you or your family in the hands of another there's going to be a release in just one minute can we worship God? We're not going to pray let's just worship God because the spirit of restoration will rest upon somebody at your household that whatever the enemy has stolen, the years the land, the money your position it shall be restored.
Father, we bless you, Lord. Somebody lift up your hands and bless him. Just give you praise. Exalt his holy name. He is Yahweh, he is God. Ah, and Mama said in Joel, chapter 2, verse 25. Just worship him because God said, I will restore. If God will restore you, worship him. Lift up your voice and bless his holy name. Worship him, worship him. It's only God that can restore you. It's only God that can restore the lost times, the lost years, the lost opportunities. Give him praise. I am an anonymous repepepepa in papalata rapapalia. Somebody lift up your voice. There is God in this house. Somebody lift up your voice. I am an anonymous satali brahada repepepepepes. I am an anonymous sata rapapapalata niada in the mighty name of Jesus. One of the instruments of restoration is prophecy. You have your mouth, I have my mouth. Before we take this offering, you're going to open your mouth and prophesy. He said, I prophesied as I was commanded. This evening, this minute, you have been commanded to prophesy a change in your life. So lift up your voice. Say, Lord, this year, I will end this year well. The lost opportunities that will come with dividends. Ah, open your mouth and begin to decree. Whatever I have lost, they will come in double. He said for your suffering, I will give you double. Lord, I call for double. Somebody open your mouth. Prophesy for yourself and your family. The areas you need, you need restoration. The areas you need restoration in your family. Open your mouth and begin to pray. If you have lost money, Mama said your health can be restored. Prophesy it. Your money that is lost can be restored. In the mighty name of Jesus. Anyone having health challenges? You have one minute to prophesy. God said, I will restore in Jeremiah. He said, I will restore health to you. Even though it's your brother, your sister, before we take this offering, lift your voice. If you have health challenges, say, Lord. He said, by this tribe, I am healed. Begin any scripture that enter your mind. Prophesy health into your life. Open your mouth and pray. Rapapaya. Lord, my Yabalatuya. Matabayamtalia. If you cannot pray for yourself, if you can remember somebody that is sick, that is in the hospital now, begin to prophesy health to him. Begin to prophesy healing to him. Ayananananash. Yeledadesh. 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 Thank you, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus. What have you lost? Have you lost money? Open your mouth and pray. So I'm going to take that. Open your mouth and say, Lord, whatever you have lost. He said, Mama read the scripture, said, they will give you in double. So whatever you have lost, maybe by ignorance, say, Lord, I ask of restoration. I ask of restoration in this area. Whatever I have lost, whatever my wife have lost, Lord will bless a demand on the anointing this house this evening. Lord, let there be restoration. Let there be restoration. Let there be restoration. Open your mouth. Ay, 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 
if you don't write, you miss. <laughs> if you come to church, church is a place of bank, bank of wisdom. If you do not write in this message, you miss. Pray for us in more strength, more revelation. The revelation was just flowing. Mama, God bless you. We love you. Thank you for that word. The Bible says, after good counsel, make thy word. Anyone that have ear to hear, as you have heard this word, go back home and begin to demand for restoration. In the areas that we have not prayed, in the mighty name of Jesus, lift up your seed that will cause restoration. <laughs> the Bible says, he that giveth to the Lord, that lendeth to the Lord, Arapa hitahata, that giveth to the Lord, lendeth to the Lord. Lift up your seed and say, Lord, this is my sacrifice. As I lift it up, oh God, I thank you. Somebody, as you lift up your seat, give thanks. It was Kabayanta, thanksgiving that caused the restoration of Lazarus' life. Father, we thank you. I thank you for this seat. Let this seat speak, oh God. Speak for my life. Speak life for my wife and my son. Rapapanta. Somebody begin to pray for your seat. You don't know who is carrying out sacrifice on your head. Say, Lord. Man, tabra anta, by this seed, oh God, I disengage every negative sacrifice that I've been speaking contrary to God's will in my life. As I sow to your kingdom, oh God, let it come with good measures, running together, shaking together, in the mighty name of Jesus. Can we come and cast our seed? God bless us. Supernatural, Baba, dependable, Jehovah Most High. Now you be the original God. Supernatural Baba, dependable Jehovah Most High. Now you be the original God. Call him supernatural, supernatural Baba, dependable Jehovah Most High. Now you be the original God. We call you supernatural, supernatural Baba, dependable Jehovah Most High. Now you be the original God. I pray. Oh, 